So we tuck cooked the ones wing too. tips under. That's done. Cook, yeah. We'll and tie the drumsticks. I know drumsticks. you sometimes like to uh, put a little piece of bread or some rice I in there. Do. So we gave you some of I that. I do. This, this is good if you're not going to stuff the turkey. Uh, this is my little, one of my little secrets. Because it keeps secrets. the nice shape, It does. Right? It keeps the shape. I don't know if you need. Just, this is kind of a small one. This is only 12 pounds, which I know um, you tend to like to make a bigger turkey. But these smaller turkeys oh. do roast really nicely no, in the oven. I, Stay I, nice and juicy. I like 12 to 16 pound turkeys. This little bit of bread right here will um, actually keep that nice and round. It's a beautiful you, shape for presenting on a platter. Yes. So this has been rinsed and cleaned and patted really dry, and then we can put two tablespoons of softened butter. We're gonna rub that all over the outside. Okay. I'll do that. And salt and pepper inside? And salt and pepper on the inside and the outside. Now, the thing is, is that you'll notice that this butter is actually going on really well. Because it's dry and because the butter is soft. Because it's dry and the butter is soft. That's really key. If your turkey isn't dry, it's the same thing with chicken. Do you it's loosen the skin work. at all on your turkeys? You can if you want to season underneath. A lot of times we put herbs and stuff like that underneath. See, this side is a little colder and it's a little harder to go on. Mm. Um, the warmer sides are easier. Okay. There we go. Season that. And then we're going to roast it on a bed of vegetables in a roasting pan. Okay, onions, so. Onions, one onion, okay. two ribs of celery, two carrots, and yes. then the giblets and the turkey neck. Yes, so you just put those right in there, yep, right? Yep, they, because we're gonna use this to, to make a gravy and all of this is gonna add flavor yes. at the end. And the heart, do you yep, have the heart Yeah, all of it. Okay. Everything that comes in, not the that, liver. Now that is not the stomach from that turkey. <laughs> that's a tiny little stomach. <laughs> well, it is kind oh, of, okay. that's a chicken stomach. No. Um, Okay, so then you put a rack in, and just so that the turkey doesn't stick, so you have nice skin everywhere, you spray it with a little oil. Oh, on vegetable. the rack? Oh, that's good. Yeah. So should, I trust, should I trust the legs? You can trust the legs. You can do a full truss if you want. It's completely up to you. I just like to do the legs. Yeah, you can just, Easier. just do the legs if you want. Especially since the wingtips are tucked under and so it won't burn. And, it's and I nice. just tie this in a bow so that I can just untie exactly. it. So then this just gets transferred right on top of this rack. You're going to roast it at 425 for, that under the next, yeah. for about 30 minutes till it starts to get golden. Then you reduce the temperature to 350, add two cups of water so that this stuff doesn't burn, and then continue roasting it till it's 125. When it's 125, we're going to make a glaze to go on it Okay. with two-thirds of a cup of cider vinegar. Oh, I love cider vinegar. Yeah. I'm making lots of cider vinegar. I, I bet you uh, are. And with my cider. I saw all that beautiful cider last time I was at your house. Two tablespoons of orange juice and a half a cup of brown sugar. This has to cook until it's reduced, which is what we have here. Oh, beautiful. About 10 minutes, and then we're going to whisk in the two tablespoons of butter that's up there and a half a teaspoon of grated orange zest. And mm -hmm. I'm going to get the turkey because we have to glaze it. So that's quite a pungent glaze, by the way, with the vinegar. Yeah, but just remember, you're not going to be drinking it or anything. You just brush it on your turkey once it reaches 125, which takes about an hour and a half total. Then you turn brush. It, oh, please turn it around the other way. Turn it around the other it's, way. They're looking right into oh, the. Sorry. <laughs> not proper at all. That's this, much this prettier. Has, this has gone. <laughs> This went into the oven legs first. When I return it to the oven, I'm gonna put it in breast first so that it cooks evenly oh, okay. and gets golden. And then we'll just continue cooking, brushing it with the glaze about every 15 minutes until it reaches 165 in the thigh. And, and it comes out We're gonna have a beautiful. lot of turkeys for sandwiches. I know, I can't wait. Because we had to do all these swap outs so that Sarah could uh, illustrate what these turkeys look like. So it goes from looking like this to looking like a beautiful glazed turkey. Okay. And wait till you see the finished bird. It really is amazing. So this is plenty for how many basings? Like three or four? Three or four basings oh, okay. throughout until it's done. Okay, good. One, I'll open that Thank for you. Thank you. There you go. Okay, so now it goes in. Rest first. Okay. Excellent. 